Chit of Headlands here to help you achieve wider angles around 30 millimeters on two times stretch anamorphic adapters. It's pretty much common knowledge that you need a taking lens of around 85 millimeters to get full frame coverage using two times scopes. So it's time to shave off about 20 millimeters off that mark. Uh, this method was relayed to me by John Barlow, the maker of the Rectolux. And according to John, this is the widest you can go with no vignetting while getting full frame coverage. It's a pretty simple and cheap procedure, so I recommend it. We're gonna be adapting an enlarger lens, the Elnicor F 2.8 63mm. There's an F 3.5 version, but just go with the fastest one. It's a tiny lens, it's super light. And somehow it reminds me of the original Iskurama lens, which is a tiny 50mm lock to infinity that is just about as wide as you can go on the East Coast. I guarantee it's a great match for the Rectolux and I bet it works just as good for any other single focus solutions and two times scopes out there. Here's what you're gonna need. A 63mm f2.8 Elnicor enlarging lens. An M39 to M42 adapter ring. M42 to EF adapter. This was my choice, you can get your own camera mount. M42 extension tubes thin copper wire, pliers, and Gorilla Tape. It's also good to have a 40.5 to 58mm step-up ring for the Nikkor's front thread. And then, step to whatever size you want. In my case, for the Rectilux, I use the 58 to 67mm step ring. First step when you get the Elnicor is to remove the M39 extension tube. This is an enlarger lens, meaning it's always focused to infinity, which is good but with a flange distance that's slightly different from the standard. Screw in the M39 to M42 adapter and then the shortest M42 extension tube. And before it's all in, add a few loops of copper wire there for spacing. Add the M42 to EF adapter at its back. Mount this contraption on the camera. Infinity will be falling past the sensor. So start unscrewing the lens from the adapter until Infinity is in focus. Now, fill the gap with a few more loops of copper wire and make sure it's tight. This step might require repeating to ensure it's all good. To wrap it up and make it a little nicer to look, cover the entire thing with Gorilla Tape, which has the perfect size. The tape is super strong, so the wire filled gap won't move and your lens will end up looking more reliable. Using an X-Acto knife, I cut off the tape that covered the f-stop markings screwed in the step-up ring and put lens caps on. Now just attach the Elna cord to any 2x stretch scope and go out to shoot amazing 3.56 to 1 wide compositions. Your horizontal field of view is about 31mm with no vignetting. This is pretty much the widest you can go for full frame coverage. Subscribe if you liked the tutorial and then check the blog for more tutorials involving diopters, the Helios 44 and many other anamorphic adapters. See you soon, Chitfadens out.